my friends, it is Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video might be a shorter one. Whenever I say that though, it ends up being really long and so we won't even go there. But today I have a short video for you as our deck is finally done, our back deck. Now we still have a lot of work to go like in our yard and there's a few minor things that still need to be completed on the deck, but for the most part we can move in and start enjoying it now. So the unfortunate part is that they finished on like Thursday and then it rained straight for like four days and it was awful outside. So it's finally looking to be a somewhat nice day and I thought we would get it all set up so we could start enjoying it. So we are just right off of the kitchen here. Ta-da! We already moved a couple of things out here because we were just so excited and then we never got to use it. But anyways, it is complete. It is still very much dirty. The rain helped with a lot of the dirt and dust that was on the deck, but like the windows need a good cleaning. And so I wanna do that today. And then also just move up all of our existing outdoor furniture. I'm not going to go too crazy and I'll tell you why. It's because we are still waiting for our landscaping to be done. And until that happens and our, we have our grass, everything just becomes a dusty mess. So it's almost like less is more at this point. I think he's almost done mowing, so I apologize. I know you can hear that. But anyways, before I jump in, start cleaning and setting all the things up, I thought I would just give you a quick tour. This area has been just a dream of ours, and the view is one of the main reasons that we purchased this lot to begin with. So to say we are excited to start enjoying it is an understatement. And I mean, to get a yard here soon, we just cannot wait. So anyways, let's do a quick little tour. Then I need to get these windows cleaned because it's driving me crazy. This is about as far as I can go out without getting in mud. So here's kind of a look at the deck, covered. We also have a lower area underneath the deck, but I'm not going to be working on that probably at all this year. Waiting on the electrician to come to do one more outlet for us. But yeah, we're just going to be focusing on the upper deck. The bugs are terrible today, by the way, but there's our view, it's pond view. We also have lake views as well. Mostly pond though. So anyways, here's our deck. It is, I would say, almost double the size as our other one. So we definitely have some extra room, but I'm not going to be buying any new furniture this year. It's just getting a little bit later in the season and we're kind of spending our money elsewhere at this point, but next year, I think we'll move whatever we put up here down below. So anyways, composite deck. This is by, oh goodness, I can't even tell you, but I will make sure to put the name of the actual composite decking down below in the description box. But I do know the color is coconut husk. It is a lighter brown color with a little bit of that gray, like wood grain in it. Our old house was darker and it showed all of the dust so I knew I wanted to go just a little bit lighter as far as that goes and then we also did a cable railing system just to help with the view and then all of these do light up at night which is what we're waiting for the electrician to come and do so look at the covered portion these timbers are from a company called blue ox timbers we did like a two-tone so those are just clear coated and then these are a stain yeah super high up we also had our electrician put some lights up there so we can do some fun up lighting at night and there's also a dimmer as well that was recently added to those and then our outdoor light fixtures these are actually really cheap ones from Wayfair I splurged on our front of the house lighting and then on the back and sides of the house these were from wayfair i feel like they were like 30 dollars each very inexpensive but those are everywhere
usually a perfectionist when it comes to cleaning. However, not today because I'm a realist and I know that it's just going to get dusty and dirty within a matter of a few days as we have people moving dirt and working in the backyard. So I clean the windows. That's about all the cleaning I'm going to do though, aside from just walking around and making sure there's like no like building materials or nails, anything like that out um, before I start bringing out the furniture. Show me life, show me love. Make a change, time is up. We can wait for better days, but the days won't come. Show me life, show me love. Show me life, show me love Make a change, time is up We can wait for better days, but the days won't come Show me life, show me love This is all we got Show me life, show me love This is all we got Show me love, show me love want to and something I regret I never did it in our other house but I wish I did was I want to put furniture pads on the bottom of our outdoor furniture as well we've done it on all of our things on the inside um, and I also want to do that out here just to protect the decking because our other one got so scratched big pack from Amazon it had like all kinds of colors and shapes in it so I'm just going to use these and then also at the same time give myself a break that's hard work I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get the rest of it. Whew. I need some help. Show me love. Show me love. Show me life. Show me love. Make a change. Time is up. We can wait for better days, but the days won't come. Show me life. Show me love. This is all we got. Show me life. Show me love, this is all we, all we got Show me love I'm at a little bit of a standstill while I wait for someone to get here. I'm thinking Macy might help me carry up the parts to the sectional to finish it off. Um, they're not like heavy, they're just long and awkward and I just need a little bit of help getting up those stairs. So while I'm waiting for that I decided just to wipe down the table. I think I might actually throw a couple of these into the washing machine. These are looking a little bit sad, these little ottomans. They've just sat in storage for, what, almost a year now. And so, yeah, I might just look through and see which ones I need to remove the covers off of and get going in the washing machine. I don't want to make them too clean because then when they get dirty, I'll be so disappointed. But, I don't know, like this one definitely could use a, a cleaning. Macy to the rescue. She helped me carry up the two big ones. They weren't heavy, they were just super awkward and so we got it up no problem. I just have them tipped on their side so I can add the furniture pads but I ended up cleaning all the cushions. I just took my little Hoover handheld cleaner and went over the tops of all of them super quickly and now I'm just letting them dry. So much easier to do that rather than take them all apart and throw them in the washing machine. These are not the most like 
fancy of cushions. They're pretty thin and the inserts are awful to work with. So it's just easier to leave them like this. So they are drying. I'm going to put my furniture pads on here and then try to figure out how we want to do this with a sectional. I'm thinking we'll probably just end up putting it up against the house, but I don't know. Not sure what we're going to do yet. I am realizing I do not like the shape of this for this particular deck, mainly because we have a walkway or a door right here and then one over there. So no matter how I situate it in the middle, we're always blocking the traffic flow. So that's good to know. So maybe a sectional is not what we want to do when we do end up buying new furniture. But for this year, we're just going to make it work. But I think that I want to flip it so the long way is up against the house. And then I also have a chair we can put on the other side and we'll see how that looks. So here's option one. Charlie is one happy camper. He can be out here because I brought a gate that we had bought off of Amazon back when he was a puppy and we were house training. It's one of those accordion ones. It actually goes a lot longer, but I just tucked in the rest here and we can easily open and close the gate. So that is working out well for now. It's not really outdoor proof, so I'll have to put it away when we're not out here. But for now, for today, it's great. But we have a ton of room left on the deck. Here's option two with what we're working with. I like this a lot better. I also pulled it up away from the house. So there's still a walkway back here to get from that door to here quickly. And I like this a lot better. Now I need to figure out what we're going to do with the egg chair. It might just stay there in the corner, which is totally fine. Balance out the egg chair. I think I might use these lanterns. These are very dirty. I need to clean them up. Maybe that. I'll clean them and then I'll get them situated. I also need to find some candles to put in each of them. I think that might work though. The boys are out playing on the deck right now. I filled up one of those plastic totes with just water. And then they brought their racetracks and hot wheels out there and they're living their best life. We're so excited to just like be outside. It's actually a quiet day here. Nobody's working out on the yard. Uh, they were here briefly this morning, but uh, now everyone's gone. So it's just been a really nice, peaceful day. We have not had really any of those since we have lived here. So it's been nice. It is 79, but we are in the shade. So it feels great out as well. But I've just slowly been making some additions bringing some pillows up oh this fire pit Do you remember this from I think it was last year or the year before I bought it from Walmart I put that on the table so I'm just bringing random things out adding them and so I'm gonna continue to do that and then I'll show you the final look of the deck I feel like it's like a soft opening <laughs> that makes sense <laughs> like this is how we're gonna make it work this year but next year I already know like I have more ideas of what I want to do but anyways I did want to show you basically the only things I bought for this back deck were these lanterns over the weekend. I happened to go into at home. We were shopping for Macy's room. I'm like, you know, let's just look through the outdoor section. Luckily everything was on sale. I want to say it was like 20, 25% off. So not amazing, but at least it was on sale. That store can be kind of pricey, but um, I found these two outdoor lanterns. Of course they're black, which is why I was drawn to them. I haven't seen these in any of the other stores, but so I grabbed like a taller one and a shorter one to go together. I need to add some batteries to them, cut the tags off and put those out there as well. <laughs> deck is complete for this year. I'm actually pleasantly surprised with how it came together. I did not think this sectional was going to work, but I kind of love it here. So who knows? Maybe it will stay, but I don't know. I kind of want to do something a little bit different th next year. So 
we'll see. But anyways, I'll walk you around and share with you all of the things. Like I said, you know, all of this stuff is probably going to get dirty. I'm going to have to keep up with cleaning it um, so we can use it. But we've already been out here all afternoon, so it's definitely worth it. Put a little doormat out and that is from Target. Charlie in there, oh goodness, he's enjoying the air conditioning. Put my little lanterns. I may shift some things around. These are just really lightweight, so I wanted to have them tucked back and not where the wind would blow them over. Have our egg chair. I think we've had this now for three years, maybe four. I did finally invest in a new cushion to go inside of it though. Our other one like was on its last legs, super faded and gross. So I grabbed this one off of Amazon. It's just a black. I thought that would be a safe color. It would match our house. And so, and then the egg chair is from Walmart actually, dot com. So I'll make sure to link that. That ottoman, Amazon. I actually planted these flowers when I was working on the flowers for the front porch, knowing these would eventually make their way back here. So um, I kind of like them right there. I might leave them close to the sun. Of course, you saw my Kirkland's lanterns. I did bring over at that corner, I brought out my plant. We'll see. I thought it. It needed something over there, but I didn't want it to be too much for Dow. So that works. And then this set right here looks better out here than it ever did, I feel like, on our other deck. Not doing a rug this year. Just didn't want to upkeep the cleaning on that. But this is the Brookberry set from Walmart. I think we're going on three or four years with it. It's definitely seen better days, but still lots of life yet. And so... Yeah, the pillows, I had those from Pottery Barn. Those were from Target. I actually bought those to go on our porch rockers, but I didn't like them, and I think they were great back here. This chair is not part of the initial set, but I think I bought that last year. There's a whole Brookberry set on the Walmart um, website that you can check out, and of course this is also from Walmart. Um, but it's just a little mini fire pit that um, we can have going when we're sitting up here if we want. So yeah, I don't think, you know, stores are very picked over right now. Same thing with like greenhouses and I don't know that I want to buy anything else this year. Our big investment for like patio furniture, this, uh, we're going to buy some really nice Adirondack chairs to go around this area. But I'm thinking like six, one for each person in our family, black ones to go around that. So of course I will share that once that is all complete. But yeah, very happy to have a space we can spend some time in now and enjoy. But that is it for today's video. Thumbs up as always if you enjoyed it. I just love me some outside decorating. This is a little bit lower key, but really happy with how it all came together but anyways thank you so much for watching i will see you very soon here later this week in a, another video